And he came near and kissed him and smelled the smell of his ribbons and blessed him and said, See the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. I hope you know at this time that smell he was talking about was not a natural smell. I hope you know at this time that the smell, the smell, he spoke about a smell. That smell is a product of the utterances that he was placing on that guy. He never stopped speaking over that guy until he was able to pick up that smell. Whether a person is blessed or not, is dependent on what kind of spiritual smell the person carries whether your part has been blotted out or whether the light shines upon your ways will be first determined by your spiritual aroma hallelujah I say hallelujah. All right. We went to Lagos. We wanted to apply for a Schengen visa. That's the visa that gives you access to the whole of most of Europe. <laughs> so we went there. We did the application. And because we are traveling people, we are missionaries. Our passports cannot in an embassy for too long if it stays more than four days we'll apply to you and say you give us our passport back thank you we are no longer interested in your visa so we gave them we did the application and for more than four days we did not have a response so we wrote them back and say oh we are sorry please just send in our passports next time when we have the time we can uh, come and apply again so they said we should come to the collection office at 4 p.m. in the evening so we arrived there a few minutes after three so that we'll be on time and they gave us a place to sit so while we sat we began to watch people that were applying for visas and there was this guy he was on the line and he came his turn came for him to do the application feel the thing it was time for him to pay i don't know what happened to his ATM card. The thing was not producing money. He said, all right. Let him go and withdraw the money cash. And that's a, an option, a viable option. He ran out. And then when he put the ATM card in the ATM machine, the ATM machine swallowed. The card. He came again. He had borrowed some money from some people. He came. And then he went there. And when the guy at the counter counted the, the money, he discovered it was not, it was not complete. It was 11,000 naira short. The, uh, see, at this time, at this time, his, the boy he brought, his son, his son had entered the director's office, had entered the accountant's office, he had entered. <laughs> he left the application. He ran after his son and arrested him and put him back. And when he came back, his, his reality, as in <coughs> he's been 11,000 a short, was still, uh, was still with him. So when I saw the way he was suffering, I, I asked Philip, I said, Philip, take my ATM card. Go and pay for the guy's application. Let it be that he will share a testimony that God sent somebody to interface with him. So Philip took my ATM card. He rushed there. And by the, the moment Philip arrived at the desk, the man at the desk said, I don't close up.
the man on the counter told him, we have seen this type of thing before, that he should go and organize like 22 days of dry fasting. That, they've, they've had people like that that have come, that he's a spiritual, he's from home, he's from his village, that they have refused him from. Do you, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Do you know someone that came into the place talking with suit and tie, but by the time it was four o'clock, the duty was out. And even though a Samaritan was there to pay for you, it, 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 that goodwill did not translate to anything. You know what? It was a smell. This smell can be a smell of favor. This smell can be a smell of reproach. And the moment people see you, they lock up completely. And you cannot explain it. This is the reason. You know when we counsel people around heartbreaks, relationships that went bad and all of that. I found a few of them. That the reason why the relationship went bad was not the girl's fault, was not the guy's fault. It was just because one of the members of the relationship had a smell of reproach. I've seen that smell of reproach open close doors on all kinds. So if you are in this hall or you are under the sound of my voice and the story of your life in the area of relationships has been closed doors, broken relationships, all kinds of stuff, even opportunities, employment and things like that, you can be very qualified. Even the people on the panel, they testify that you are more qualified than the rest of the people that came in search of the job and give you good points, raise your hopes, and then you walk out of the place hoping that you have a phone call, an email, a text message, and you wait on end without a response. Then you will realize that the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong. Are you there? There's something beyond the perfect presentation that you made that is still forestalling the entry into the opportunity that was advertised. I sent Philip, I said, Philip, you know what? Let us stop the dilemma of this young man because I asked him, I asked him a few questions and he lied to me. He lied to me and I picked it. I knew it, that's the easiest thing if you have the gift of word of knowledge, one of the easiest things you can detect is if someone is lying. So he lied to me, and the fact that he lied to me did not stop my heart that was open for him. I had two questions that I would have asked him, and I would have confronted him with the fact that he was lying. But there was no need for that. The reason why I even spoke was because I just wanted to tell him that we are involved now. Okay? So take my car. When they got to the table, man said, unfortunately, one second ago, my desk, it closed. Those guys were there from 9 a.m. in the morning. I came to bail him out at 4 o'clock, and my goodwill did not translate to any miracle. ATM card was swallowed. All kinds of things happened in one day. The people in the place, they we've seen this thing. Don't worry, don't worry. What you need is 22 days of dry, very, very dry fast. You can help secure the message of the Lord to bring salvation to the situation. That's how we're told of someone that came from Abuja down to Lagos and while he was trying to file the application he now realized that he left his passport at home. So they, they told him, don't, no, don't worry. See, we've seen people like you before. What you need is a very long fasting. <laughs> My son smells like a field that the Lord has blessed. It's just like a vulcanizer. It's putting air into your tire. Then he puts it to a, a certain point. Then he takes there some things that they used to gauge it. Then he puts it on it to gauge it. The guy was prophesying. Blessing upon this guy was prophesying. And he didn't stop prophesying until he could smell. 
the smell was the gauge that could reveal that ah, the utterances have reached the realm of the spirit. If you have that negative smell here, it will be broken before the end of the service. Yeah. And those that are watching online, if you carry that, that smell of reproach in the realm of the spirit, oh my God, tonight we come to wage war against the speaking of altars so that the Lord himself will arise and blot out every tongue that is speaking over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Ebanai rudi ni sai le mama ne